Join me on an epic weekend road trip. All right, let's go. As we visit our friendly neighbor to the north. So where are we headed today, Todd? We're heading to Laval, Quebec, Canada. We're gonna go see uh, Vlad Guerrero this morning and a few others this afternoon. It'll be a fun day of autographing and, uh, and, and we'll be busy after this drive's done. It's gonna be a busy morning, it's gonna be a busy day, but it's gonna be worth it. After about an eight hour trip, one stay in a hotel and a very early morning, we finally approach the border. Crossing the border here. Let's see if they let us in. If they knew any better, they wouldn't. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. No okay. Okay. There you go, guys. You're all set. Thank you very thank much. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. Update. We made it through the border. <laughs> so that's good news. It's actually a beautiful day out there. It really is. 41 degrees and 41 and sunny. I'll take that on the way to Canada. <laughs> the thing about Expo Fest is that it's tied in with the Montreal Children's Hospital, right? Correct, yes. Proceeds all, all from all the signings and right. all the other events that they do throughout the year. He does a softball game in the summer. He's done a lot of other different yeah. fundraisers. So right. it goes back to that. All right, we made it. This is Sal. How you doing? Nice, nice to meet you. How are you? We had arrived at the house of Perry G, the person behind Expos Fest. And when we got there, there was no time to waste. We had to get the private signing started with Mike Laser Lansing and Darren Fletcher. Look at that. That's old school Expos there. Best logo ever right there. The no hitter you caught with Tommy Green. Oh my. Because I'm from Philly, so. <laughs> Sunday afternoon game in Montreal. Yeah. You know, it, was, it, was, it was a Sunday afternoon game. Um, what I remember of it is that Tommy Green had walked maybe six, seven batters, so there was it was a close game, like one to nothing. So even though it was a no hitter, there was still a lot of intrigue in the fact that we weren't sure who was going to win the game. But I remember the last three outs in the bottom of the ninth. I believe it was Galarraga, Walker, and Tim Wallach. He had to get mm -hmm. out. And he got him out. So it was a nice moment for Tommy. Ground ball, great grab, Green. It's over. He's pitched a no hit, no run game, making the final out himself. He'll see this. I'll show this to Tommy. Anything you want to say to him? Tommy Green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you still throw the slider? That's what I want. <laughs> and now the big man has arrived. Hola, so Vladimir Guerrero. That's right, Vlad Guerrero, private signing. People sent in hundreds of items and all of the proceeds go to benefit the Montreal Children's Hospital. After that, we head over to the hotel to meet up with Bill Lee and Rodney Scott. The most beautiful signature in Major League Baseball is Andre Dodd. He has the most beautiful signature. I've always been a fan of it. I'm right up there. Let me see yours. All right. That's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like it. Three L's, two E's, and I and a B. <laughs> the bigger my head, the bigger the B. <laughs> but this was one of the highlights of my trip. Here comes the Hawk, Andre Dawson. This guy had a huge turnout for his autographs. He raised thousands of dollars just on his own from the amount of items that he signed for Expos Fest. Another day, another early morning. Let's get to it. We had a rapid fire autograph session with Claude Raymond, Ron Brand, two time no hit pitcher, Bill Stoneman was in the house. We have Expos legend, Bill Gullickson. And of course, you can't talk Expos without talking Moises Alu. The only thing better than one Alu is two Alu. His father, Felipe, joined us as well. I can feel the cold outside cold. Now, not only is Felipe Alu a legend in baseball, he is probably one of the nicest men that you will ever meet. Now, when you do these autograph signings, you get to see some pretty cool items that people send in. Let's get a scouting report of you. 
uh, from different years, one from 1970 and one, one from 1956. You might be interested in having a look at this. I used to be mostly uh, a track out here. Yeah. So, Amb ambition in baseball. Big show. Ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. He said you can keep it if you want. If you're interested. Yeah, yeah. It brings memories. Now, yes, this was a very long day, but I gotta say, it was absolutely worth it. Something that I will never, ever forget. But now it's party time. That's right, we are on our way to the Expos Fest Gala. This party was insane. We got to meet up with Chris Chelios, Hockey Hall of Famer. He did a private signing as well. All the proceeds go to Benefit Expos Fest. This guy was a machine. He signed hundreds of items in record time. So I gotta say, Expos Fest, they do it right. They bring out the stars and this place got packed. This is what it looked like beforehand. This is what it looked like afterwards. 900 people in this place, including the mascot, Yuppie. This was a record-breaking night for this charity. They raised over $30,000 on the silent auction alone. Pretty great in there. The bottom here. Outstanding, beautiful little bit. Perry, thanks so much for inviting us. We had a great time. It was a great event and a great cause. Thank you. I mean, it's a great cause for the Montreal Children's Hospital. Thanks, Perry, and your whole family. And all of this was done to honor Perry's niece who passed away from a brain tumor at the age of five. If you're interested in learning more about how you can help, visit ExposFest.com today and donate.